Welcome back to Roommates, I'm Raven. I'm Mark. Now, since last week I've done a little bit of research. You notice that our energy is at 100%, which means that the modifications we made, taking out one of the naps, was not deep enough. So we can go ahead and take this out and get another study. Because I, I... I'm sorry, go ahead. Are you going to sort of turn into a no-lifer? No yes, but when you think about it, our objective here is to maximise our grades and to maximise our spontaneity and activity. Well, do any of the art store bookstore clerks actually do anything? All they do is give us um, money and more of these spontaneous active things. So we could do... In fact, no, none, none of these jobs are any good. Uh. Which is why what we've got here is perfectly optimised for our direction. Could Hell, you'd probably to take, to take the pub out and get something else, I don't know. Could, could, could do data entry. No, spontaneity. We don't need the money. Um, uh, as, I, as I was saying, I've done the calculations, and what we are doing is almost exactly balanced. Have we actually been spending money? Yes, you spend the money on the RPGs, the pub, the wall climbing, etc. At some point, wouldn't the RPGs sort of be free because you have all the books? So are we just sort of like constantly going to the GM going, Hey, can I use this? Well, it's hey, can I use probably more about hiring a place or like the, the uh, MK RPG, the Milton Keynes Role Playing Group. Come, come, come by. Yeah, sell, sponsor. We can claim that check later. It's okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, they, they, they maybe go, go to a club, I think. Yeah. But without further ado, let's stop this uh, two minutes of talking and get us going. Now, let's see, when we left off, we just solved the murder mystery and Max got really salty. Yes. Let's see what's going to happen now. Oh, uh, actually, one further thing before I start the thing. Uh, I believe, and this is unverified, that there are two events we're working toward. Spring Break and Summer Break. I believe Spring Break happens at week 12, and Summer Break happens at week 24. Tw week 24, I believe, is the end game. So we're about a sixth, fifth, sixth of the way through. A fifth, in fact, yes. Yeah. All right, no further ado. Oh, look, there's a new event right off the I haven't that. even started. You know what? I think this is going to be a good week. For a change, I'm actually getting out the door without running into something crazy delaying me. The last few weeks have been ridiculous. It's right. true. Which one do you think it's going to be? Is it going to be Paint Man? Is it going to be... Um... It's usually Isabella that physically crashes into people. Uh. But when I had my first, I mean, this is what, week five, in my first five weeks of university, I think the only crazy thing, thing that happened is I bought a game called um, Hard to Be a God, and I played that for five weeks. <laughs> and World of Warcraft. Uh, but everyone else has already gone to class, so I locked the door behind me as I head out. Oh, or at least I thought the others had gone off to class. It looks like Sally's coming back in a... Strange. Oh, I suppose it's getting to winter now, isn't it? Because we just had Halloween. Which explains why this extremely bright spring-looking <laughs> background is a little in contrast to her winter pom-pom get-up. She looks really nervous about something. Her eyes are darting all over, and she's walking with a bit of a hunch. I hope she didn't hurt herself. I walk out the gate and give her a wave as I turn toward my class. Uh, let's see now. I believe I was making her vaguely southern, wasn't I? In a very... Uh, probably, well, Southern isn't a, isn't a race way, but probably in a culturist way. Is, is, that, is that a thing? Oh, Anne, uh, hey, I forgot a book. Okay, yeah, she's really terrible at hiding things. Sally runs past me and heads to the door without looking me in the eye. Oh, that was easy. I can tell she's struggling to keep her jacket closed and get into her pockets at the same time. Oh dear, did she forgot to put anything on this morning? It's like, mm. hello, little girl. <laughs> Come on, it, it's a cla- oh, Flashes, Mark. I suppose I could go over and help, but that just means getting tied up into whatever crazy scheme she's got going on today. I just don't know if it's worth it. Well, I do. Well, see, if you're trying to get into a pants, you're going to click that play event thing anyway, no it's matter. It's true. Plus, we don't need the energy. Yeah. I let out a little sigh. I'm getting entirely too caught up with these people. Almost like they're the friends that you came here to make. I head back towards the door, reaching into my pockets to fish out my keys. Whoa, that's a get-up. Um, I'm not sure I'm liking the... I mean, it's a bit early for a Santa hat. I mean, Halloween was last week. And the, the colour combination is... My, the, the clash of colours, it, it's not working for me. I'm sorry, I'm going to have to retire. Bye. 
Here, let me get that for you, Sally. That was a bit, bit too deep. Ah, oh, uh, Anne, sorry. I thought you'd gone ahead. Yeah, could you please grab the door for me? Sally struggles with her jacket for a few moments, looking around shiftily. Everyone else is gone, right? It's Dominic's TA day, right? Oh, sorry, I was meant to be Sally's voice. I think so. Why? What's... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Before I can finish my sentence, I hear it. A small whimper, like a small dog whining. I'm not a fucking chihuahua or something stupid like that. Is that what I think it is? Okay, it's alright. It's a real dog. We're fine. Sally sighs and opens her jacket, revealing a tiny puppet. And that after puppet? having... Puppet? Uh, uh, sorry, puppy. It could be a puppet. Maybe she's a ventriloquist. But uh, note how she she takes off her coat and suddenly she's in her skivvies again. It's like, it's winter outside. Ooh, boy. No? The thing is, I can be found during cold days wearing shorts and the heaviest jacket I can. True, but then the winter doesn't really affect you when you're inside. Yeah. Let's leave the house. Oh my god, he's so cute! So kawaii! I'm gonna take offence to what you just said, seeing as I'm in your house right now. <laughs> he is pretty adorable, isn't he? Yes, he is. Where'd you find him? He was just wandering the street down by the main avenue. What? Did you ask around about him? Of course. I don't just go around stealing dogs. I didn't say that. Anyway, he was about to go wandering into traffic, so I scooped him up. I looked all over, but nobody claimed him. I don't see any tags or anything. Who would abandon a cute little guy like this? I don't know. It happens a lot around college towns like this, though. People get a pet and then have to move away for some reason, and they just abandon their poor animals. Except it's midterm. It's too early for people to leave. Sally looks like she's about to cry just thinking about it. It's true, it's, you know, dogs is sort of, sort of a family. What about those people who just can't cut it at uni and then just sort of leave? What, just uh, abandon the dog to... what? Bastards. Well, for now, let's get him set up inside. Come on. Because this isn't going to have you a problem with Dominic later on. He's going to blow a fucking gas gun. Uh, no, we're back to the default art. I unlock the door, step through and take off my winter coat. I'm pretty sure she wasn't wearing that under her winter clothes. You do know this is totally against the rules though, right? Dominic will freak if he finds out. It's true. Go back and watch the first video. He laid out the rules. The rules are pretty clear. No pets. Not even fish. Well, I'm not telling if you're not. Yeah, because it's not going to be completely obvious. It's dog pooping and whining and sniffing. Yeah. Well, I'm not going to leave a poor puppy out in the streets. You can count on me. Here, stay here and cover him up. I'll make sure the coast is clear. Everyone's gone. I suppose they're, they're they just... have a nasty habit of to. Yeah, that that guy. Who did we we, we forget last time? I think his name started like with uh... Max. No, you're supposed to play along. If you're like, uh, I don't know. It's like start with like, like like an M or something. Who who? Ah, whatever. Or play along to bad jokes. Yes. Otherwise, they're just bad. Thank you, Anne. I really appreciate your help. So does little Vegemite. Does that mean people either love him or hate him? But he's white. Or Australian. Vegemite's black. He's a white dog. It doesn't even make sense. Vegemite. No, no, give her a chance to explain herself. Suddenly I hear a rustling from the kitchen. I try to sneak a bit closer. That's when I see Dominic's hand pushing the door open. He was locked in the fridge all this time. <laughs> Crap. I've only got a moment to figure out what to do before he comes out here. Count to 35 before coming back in. I slam the door on Sally, shoving her back outside. Now, what to do? Oh uh, boy. Oh uh, boy. Well, if we stumble into him, then chances are he's just going to be like, Oop, mind yourself. Milady. <laughs> Whereas if we ask him for help on a problem, we can probably be like, Why don't you come to my room and help me with my math? He'd probably actually think it was a math problem. <laughs> but it is a math problem. What were you thinking? Uh, so, are we agreed to ask him for help? Yeah, go on. Alright, let's go. Oh yes, we get our riffs. But then, what would happen if we did the other one? 
is would the other one just because that that is that isn't clearly labeled a screw over Sally. <laughs> um, okay. Hmm. I think I know how how to distract him. No, oh, no, that doesn't work. Ah, I just don't get it. This problem is too hard. Oh, yeah, me. I thought I would have had clean sailing with you just talking to yourself for half an hour. Yeah. Uh, why Dominic have to turn back? I'm actually angry you turned back up now. Remember, he's a posh boy. I can't do posh. Still You've done it for the last ten episodes. I've been faking it. Well, yes, yeah, so keep faking it. Fake it till you make it, brother. One day. Lime. Yeah, I'll get to it. Calm down. Line. Yeah. Anne, what are you still doing here? Don't you have class? I have to go pretty soon, but I've got this problem that's been giving me a lot of trouble. Math, I'm not too bad at that stuff. Want me to give it a look at? Sorry. English? Yes, please. <laughs> um, math, I'm not too bad at that stuff. Want me to give a look? Give it a look with you. How is that so hard? I don't know. Reading is difficult. Oh, would you? One of my professors had actually given us an extra credit question as an assignment. It wasn't due for a few weeks, so I hadn't started on it yet. Extra credit, baby. Hell yeah. yeah. You can see where it gets confusing, right? Oh yeah. This is kind of a crazy one, isn't it? I put out some paper on the dining room table as Dominic sits down to look over the problem. Behind us, I hear the door start to open, so I start talking to cover the sound. So, if the cos of the wave is pi times the radius squared, but the tangent is 73 degrees, you can see my problem. What? That's just gibberish. What has your professor been teaching you? Uh, well, maybe that's my problem. <laughs> I take a quick look behind us as Dominic starts showing me how to actually resolve the problem. Nerd. Sally is already upstairs, giving me a thumbs up motion. I'm really glad I could help her out. I'm just glad you could help me out. I've only got until 9.30. Oh, no problem, man. I remember when these used to... Wait, it's 9.15 now. What? Oh my god, my watch is wrong. Do you even have a... Thanks for your help, Dominic. I've gotta go. I make a quick retreat out the door, leaving a confused Dominic in my wake. I'll have to check on Sally later. I literally forgot how I used to speak for Domino. That was actually a really fun class. I'm glad I went today. Of course you- Whoa! Too bad. That, that was quick. Yeah. Oh. One of my, my professors just emailed me. He wants to see me after class. Oh, I've seen this. I've seen this in, uh, vid videos on the internet. Um, on YouTube. Yes. Maybe he has an extra credit- I've, I've definitely seen this one. Extra credit assignment. Oh, but I was supposed to meet one of my classmates to study in the library. Maybe I should go there first. But then I might miss Professor Task's meeting. Well, obviously we play the event. Yeah. Let's say it like that. Yeah. Oh! Boy, G! Yeah, let's take the event! Thank you. There you go. That totally won't max out the volume and just crash it. No, it's okay. I, I put compression on it. I guess since I'm supposed to be studying for his class, I should probably go see what he wants. Uh, fancy lecture hall. In fact, have we actually been inside the, uh... I, I don't think we've actually been inside the, the university this whole five weeks. No. We've been outside it. During class, I let my partner know I have to see the professor. Luckily, he sent her the same email. Afterwards, we head to his office. What a stroke of luck. Wow, two different locations in so many seconds. Was there even any point going to the lecture hall? Mm. Professor, you wanted to see me. Whoa! So, but can we can we switch from Sally to him? <laughs> wow! <laughs> the, look at that hair. It's too Bashonen. Well, then you, you know exactly what voice you have to use for Professor Task now, don't you? I don't. There are multitudes I could use. And all these things like you got the the high collar, but then you have the flowing hair. But at the same time, you have the glasses. I mean, it's just... I don't know whether to use Vil, <laughs> not slightly fanboyant. Well, I don't think he's going to be a bad guy. And I but then he's also a p professor, so he's probably not, you know, a boy in that sort of way. Maybe he's, he's like one of those, I am the sensei. Ah, Anne, exactly on time. That's too so. Ah, Anne, exactly on time. <laughs> Daniel! <laughs> As expected of you. 
Yes, that's the voice. He gives me a smile of appreciation that lights up his face. He has a very wise demeanour, I think. He really is the epitome of a college professor. I don't know, he doesn't seem sort of like angry at the world. But look at him, the flowing hair. So dignified and ha I've seen this movie. Uh, and handsome. Thank you, Professor Task. Well, anyway, to the matter at hand. You both know I've been helping out with the sociology department lately, right? Oh, I hate him already. Stay a while and listen! <laughs> I told you I'd get Deckard Kane in here somehow. <laughs> well, one of the other professors is running an experiment. She wanted me to give a few of my students a little questionnaire. You don't have to, but I'll give you a bit of extra credit for your trouble. Wow, so all I have to do is fill out a questionnaire and get extra credit? That's like the easiest extra credit you could ask for. Now, what did you do for extra credit? No, I've got any extra credit. It's like, it's, it's really a US thing more than anything else. Yeah. Oh, hang on. We have a new lady in the house. Man, what are you going for for this um, prize specimen? Well, clearly her voice has to be, I'll fill it out! No. Uh. <laughs> no, I say we use <laughs> I dare you. I'll fill it out, Professor. <laughs> I'll never catch up to Anne if I don't do it get a little extra. I'm disappointed. Oh, you're doing fine, Carmen. But yes, I'll fill one out, Professor. Can we go for a Carmen route? <laughs> I don't think she's the main character. Much like all the previous, like that, that redhead in the Halloween party. I don't think she's coming back. Mm. The professor looks pleased with both of us, handing us our papers. I bet even if she did actually come back, you did actually come back and was an option, you'd just sort of cancel everything we've done so far. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> there are a few questions on the paper, mostly about my college life. I fill in most of it pretty easily. The last question gives me pause, though. Questions about college life. I bet it's going to be some, something really uh, controversial or saucy. I just... I don't know. Your fellow student has obtained the answers for the next test. They plan on using them, as do several others. They offer you the chance to use them as well. well that's easy, you don't take it. There is no chance for you to be caught using the answers. Do you use them on the test? No. No, of course not. That's stupid. That doesn't... Ooh, I should probably turn that off. <laughs> Hang on. Everybody now knows your account details. I don't give a crap, because I'm going to cut it from the video. <laughs> uh, do I don't know, leave him in there. I'd like to see people um, Maybe even bombard If you say it as offline, will that stop them? Probably. Yeah, we'll see. Oh yeah, friends is not good. Okay, cool. No, no, we... Remember to cut that part, yo. Wait five seconds. Because it's an indication of how much you know. So if, if you cheat, then you don't, you're not actually proving anything, are you? Um, it's to say you won't get caught. There's no chance of you getting caught, but you always get caught. Well, forgetting whether or not you get caught or not, it's, it's, on principle, it's wrong. Because you're not, you're not saying that you know this stuff. You're saying that you know how to memorize this particular test, which is a fundamental error with a lot of... Oh, whatever. I mark down no and proudly hand my paper in. You failed, you didn't use any resources <laughs> at your disposal. <laughs> Thank you, Anne. He looks over my paper with a bemused grin on his face. I appreciate your time. Now I don't want to hold you two back from your studies any longer. I'm looking forward to your project this term. Thank you, Professor. Thank you, Professor Task. Thank you for this opportunity. Of course now, dear. Now run along, you two. No, oh, he does sound like an old man. I gather calm it up and we head off to the library. You're so lucky, Anne. He likes you. <laughs> no. He just appreciates good grades. You're doing fine, Carmen. We giggle and continue talking about him as we go on our way. And someone drops a plate somewhere. Learning, learning, learning. That was interesting. Man, these are really insightful um, messages about what we're doing. Oh yeah, I'll take the buttered wall tomorrow. Added challenge. Buttered wall? That doesn't sound hygienic. Yeah, we've had that one before. Phew, alright, I think I've already started my shift. Some reason the cafeteria is always weirdly intense. Well, the cafeteria generally would be, because... Not uh, midday. Calvin, clear me some space on camera 6. I'm going to need to operate. By God, we will save those fish sticks or die trying. It's not worth it. Fish sticks are okay, but... It's mostly tomato ketchup when I'm done with them. Woohoo, another event. More events this week. This makes no sense. Yeah. 
I really don't know why I took this class. Trying to broaden my horizons. Please. That's the entire preface of her coming to university. That's what? why you took the class. What class do you think she took? Trying to broaden my horizons. That's not an actual subject you can pick. I don't know why I took this class. Trying to broaden my horizons is clearly the name of the class, right? Mm. <laughs> Come on, Anne. You can get this. Ooh, hello. Is he just sort of like appearing through the wall? Has he gotten superpowers that anything in this house he can just appear? Does he know about the dog yet? Maybe he will, will the dog ever be mentioned again? Let's find out next week. What, no, um, Line. Everything all right in here? It sounded like you were flustered in here, Anne. For a second, I thought this was Max's room. I know I said something wrong, but I'm not changing what it's I okay. said. Your voice is going a bit, a bit cool. He's uh, not meant to be cool, he's meant to be preppy. Anne and I is wearing a popped collar. True. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know I was being that loud. This is just a complicated problem. I'll figure it out. Oh, do you need a hand? Oh, hello. What are you calling me over for, douchebag? <laughs> See, you managed that one, no problem. What? Nobody called you jackass? Well then, what are you saying my name for? Hey, Anne. Oh, hey, Max. I was just talking to Dominic about my homework. Sounds boring. What are you working on? Oh, don't worry about it, you guys. I'll figure it out. The boys look like they doubt me. I guess they might be helpful. But I won't learn anything if I don't puzzle through this stuff, quite. Well, I want to just skip it and leave both of them in the dust. Yeah, I mean, if we skip it, then we're doing it ourselves, which is good. But at the same time, this is the game. <laughs> if we do... But I... Do you really not want to play the event? We, I say we go do it, but go with Dominic, because he'd probably get us to the answer. That guy on the right will probably... It's true, and since we're not trying to get with Max anyway, you know. Yeah. Well, alright. It might help to talk through this. Maybe it's not a choice. Maybe they're both going to be here. <laughs> alright, let's work on it a bit. Oh, sorry. Dominic and Max come over toward my desk to look over my shoulder at the problem. Mm, Max, I'm trying to study here. Yes, we are, so shut up so some of us can concentrate. You wouldn't know how to concentrate if I pelted you with every can of frozen juice in the store. Oh. Ow. <laughs> Damn. I say we play a max route and just let them two get each other. Dot, dot, dot. What? See, this is what smarts get to you. Terrible puns and you know. Douchebags. Shut up. I hide my smile behind a hand. Ooh. Well, we're going with Dominic, right? Because he actually knows how to answer it. Prob... maybe? Are you flip-flopping on this? No. This I'm... is the sound of Mark flip-flopping on something. They, they never actually told us what was the question. What of it was like, what's the... Top way to play a guitar or something. What's the subharmonic of a C chord minor in a major format? I'm leaving. Okay. What? Well, um, oh, damn, no, I have to do mail parts as well. I'm okay with this. Hello, my name is the artist. Right, if you actually be racist, I'm coming. It's not racist. That is racist. Your face is racist. No, let's go with Dominic. Okay, we're going with Dominic. Yeah. Gotta get those guitar rips going. I wonder if he's still gonna be salty about this. Well, Dominic, I think the problem breaks down into these parts, see? I show Dominic my work so far, and he examines it with a thoughtful look. Max looks over his shoulder, but gets bored of it rather quickly. Ah. <clears throat> Alright, I think that's about it for me. Good luck, Anne. Try not to catch anything. Yeah. Okay, Anne, I think this is where it breaks down. See, in this part. Oh, I think I see. Together, Dominic and I go through the steps of the problem, and he shows me how to work them out. It's nice to work through this with someone who gets it on the same level, or better, than I do. Plus, Dominic is a really good teacher. Doesn't quite have the flowing locks like the Wait a minute. Give him a bit more hair, pair of glasses... I think this guy's actually Professor Tusk. I think he's Chad. He's... he's not even swole. 
What if he just sort of like takes off the jacket and like he's just sort of like compressing it? I... What if he's like all of the faculty and in including Chad? So we're saying that Dominic is actually Professor Task and Chad. Yes. And that he just changes his hair and Or possibly goes through different have you ever seen Chad and Dominic in the same room? No, because let's see, the first time we meet him is at the party. Then we see him in the cafeteria. Um we see him outside with the whole ball thing. So no, actually. No, see? we have not. Yeah, I get it now. I feel bad. I should have seen that ages ago. Hey, don't worry about it. Sometimes you just need a different perspective. It's nice to study with someone who takes it seriously. Super serial. Heh, <laughs> I'm sure. I just wish the others were as good as that with their studies as you. Still, I'm happy we got to study together. It's okay, you can slow down. No, I read too fast for... Dominic smiles warmly at me. On an impulse, I give him a quick hug. Why? Why? I appreciate the help, Dominic. Really. Ah, oh, shucks. He blushes for a second, which is kind of a nice reversal. Well, no problem. You should have the rest of that down easy. I'll see you later, Anne. Take care. Garnier. I get back to my homework with a much happier demeanor. We can cash that check as well. Yeah.